How you guys doing? This is Alan from MindVisionMedia.net. Today's quickie is going to be about editing your responsive WordPress using Jetpack. Um, if you're not familiar with Jetpack, I'm in my WordPress dashboard and it's usually a link over here in your dashboard and you'll notice it in your plugin list. Um, there'll be a option for Jetpack. You want to go ahead and click on Jetpack. Now this particular site is already connected. And you'll get that message here. Um, you can disconnect from Jetpack at any time. What you'll get uh, when you're not actually connected, the first thing you'll get is a button here that says connect to Jetpack and it needs to um, be authorized for WordPress.com to connect uh, the Jetpack to your WordPress website or blog. And your hosting service will have to have the proper uh, DG libraries installed, which most of them do, so you shouldn't have a problem. But click that button that says Connect to Jetpack. And, just so you know, if you already have a WordPress.com username and password, you can use that to connect your Jetpack Okay, in your WordPress. When you click the button to connect Jetpack, it will go to WordPress.com. And if you already have a login for WordPress.com, you go ahead and enter that. Or you can enter your username and login information for Gravatar.com. Either one. The username that you sign up with or use for Gravatar works with WordPress.com and it works for Jetpack. Okay, a lot of folks don't know that. Alright, so once you connect to Jetpack, you'll get this message. You'll get a message from uh, WordPress.com and Jetpack saying that it is connected and you'll have a notification right here letting you know that you are connected. And Jetpack provides a ton of free features that you add on to your WordPress site or blog. Um, a lot of people kind of ignore it and because uh, they don't really know what it is, but definitely not something to be ignored. Um, once again, 95% of the stuff is free. A few things are purchased, like, and, and it'll tell you right there, purchase. But 95% of the, everything is free. Um, there's fantastic tools in here like stats. You want to know how many people are visiting your site? Really simple, really simple and easy. Go ahead and use this free WordPress.com stats feature. You go ahead and configure it. I'm not going to go through all of these. Jetpack has quite a few add-ons and features. They're really easy, simple, self-explanatory. They make it very simple for you to implement and configure these these uh, add-ons. Um, so go ahead and activate Jetpack and dig in. Okay, I'm just going to go over these briefly. Um, they give you free options to help publicize your website or blog. Um, you can get notif notifications um, about activity on your website by email and stuff like that. Um, you can add comments. Um, it's a new comment system that uh, kind of incorporates a lot of social media integration and stuff like that. They have that for free. Um, subscriptions, an easy way to add subscription um, to your website or blog. Um, you can post by email. In other words, you can just write an email and it'll post to your blog. Um, you can set that up. Likes, like buttons, sharing buttons. You, know, you can put a full uh, screen uh, a car image carousel on your site or blog. Just tons of stuff, folks. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. Spelling and grammar. It's always good to have. You know, you can't have too much spelling and grammar. Uh, checking on your uh, blog articles, stuff like that. We all make mistakes. We all overlook stuff. And if you use Firefox, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with that dictionary, but uh, I've had a few um, adventures with the dictionary in Firefox for whatever reason. But, uh, and VaultPress, that is a purchase, but uh, it's real time backup and security for your website. Um, sharing options, all this stuff is free. You just have to configure it. You just have to turn it on and activate it. Um, Gravatar hover cards, these are great 
for your post if you do a lot of blogging write a lot of articles um, display your Google Plus profile at the bottom of your post you know, just tons of short codes okay now this is something that normally you have to install a plugin for a third party plugin well Jetpack comes with a short code uh, package so you can install that and it has a bunch of short codes that you can use to do a lot of stuff on your site without installing another plugin but what I want to focus on today okay aside from all these other great things in Jetpack that I just briefly went over was this option here custom CSS now a lot of themes don't come with a customized CSS option or panel inside the theme itself the responsive theme from CyberChimps does come with a custom CSS panel inside the theme options uh, uh, menu so you can paste all your little code snippets and CSS modifications right there in that custom CSS panel inside of the theme options without editing a core file or you know necessarily going to your child theme and doing anything there you can do all these little code snippets and CSS modifications quickly and easily in that little CSS option panel well all themes don't have that option and themes that don't sometimes they do offer a different type of uh, area or setting where you can do some CSS modifications but Jetpack offers one for you. Um, you can customize the appearance of your site using CSS but without modifying your theme. Okay, so this is kind of a time saver here. You configure that. It's already set up on this site. What you get under, I believe it was, let's see, where did it go? Which theme am I on? I work on so many themes, folks. Ah, here we go. Under Appearance, Edit CSS. That will appear once you activate the Jetpack um, Edit CSS option. And what you get is a an additional CSS style sheet editor right here. This has nothing to do with um, your WordPress installation. This is added on through Jetpack. And it has a header up here, all this stuff right here, but underneath that is where you can just paste in code snippets or CSS modifications. For example, for this particular site, um, I've got some modifications in there, but let's say I wanted to change this, um, the color of this font here. Now, for those of you who have been paying attention, you can use your um, inspector whether it be through fire uh, firefox or another browser you can use your video inspector if you're not familiar with that you can watch my tutorials on editing wordpress with firefox that's not what this tutorial is about so i'm not going to worry about uh, showing you what i'm doing on screen off screen except for the, this <coughs> you can take a um, you know, uh, portion of CSS here that you want to change. Like, I want to change the color of this, and currently this is the color. So, if I wanted to just edit that, I could copy that rule declaration using the methods and tools that I explained in my other tutorials editing WordPress with Firefox. You can come back over to your custom uh, CSS editor that comes with Jetpack, okay, and you can go ahead and just paste that rule declaration in there, and let's say we wanted to change that color from orange to something else. Um, I just happen to have, let's see, a color handy here. Let me go ahead and copy that, jump back over here, change that color, okay. And then over to the side here, you'll be able to save your style sheet. And again, folks, this is like this takes so much hassle and headache out of editing your site, especially if you don't have a child theme or you know you don't feel like uh, jumping back and forth. So now that we've modified that and adjusted that, let's go ahead and refresh. And now titles are green. Okay. 
So just brief, quick tutorial on how to maximize your WordPress site or blog with Jetpack. Don't do not overlook it, and especially the CSS style sheet editor that comes with Jetpack. Activate that, and you'll have a window like this where you can put in code snippets and make modifications to your site uh, quickly and easily. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to update that style sheet and return this text to its original orange. Go ahead and refresh. And there we go. Okay, so quick, like I said, just a quick tip. You definitely want to activate Jetpack. Once again, click on it. It'll ask you to connect your WordPress to Jetpack using your either your WordPress.com password login information or your Gravatar.com login information and password. Either one will work and it'll give you access to all these great features, really cool add-ons and stuff to enhance your site. Um, and help spread the word about your blog, especially if you're doing a blog, doing a lot of writing. But the custom CSS panel, what a bonus you get with Jetpack. All right, folks, so check it out. More tips, tools, and tutorials from Alan at MindVisionMedia.net. Thanks for tuning into my website and my YouTube channel. Thanks for your support, and I'll talk to you soon.